you're in love with Cat Noir. I don't see what's so weird about it. It's weird because you're in love with Adrian just like yesterday. <laughs> Adrian? Yeah, but being in love with Adrian was not a good idea. Hmm. Because of my feelings for him, Shadow Moth stole 15 Miraculous from me. That's why loving Cat Noir is a good idea. Cat Noir is cute, very handsome, super competent, doesn't even put pressure on me anymore, and turns out he's really cool. And on top of that, he's in love with me, so it's perfect. Uh, he's in love with Ladybug. And we both know that means the same thing. But he doesn't. And you can't tell him. <sighs> Marinette, you find yourself a new, unavailable crush just when Adrian seems really interested in you. Don't tell me that's a coincidence. Aren't you running away from your real feelings just a little? Not at all. I have no idea what I'd be running away from. I've got nothing to run away from, and it's already time to go to school anyway. <laughs> 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 At 7 a.m. in the morning? Exactly! 7 a.m. is the right time if you don't want to be late. See? New love, new habits, just goes to show I'm right to love Cat Noir. She left in her pajamas. Marinette. <clears throat> Marinette. Marinette. Marinette, Marinette, it's all you can think about. What about Ladybug? Is she to be tossed away like an old cheese rind left on the edge of a platter? No, Plague, she's still wonderful, but she's not in love with me. So it's high time I leave her be and let her choose the cheese she wants on her platter. And what if Marinette isn't in love with you? The only way to find out is to ask her. Hi, yeah. Plague. Hmm. How nice to see you so cheerful in the morning, Adrian. Bananas on your pancakes? Yes, Father. Uh, thank you. Dad? Adrian, you're going to be late. <gasps> Adrian! <sighs> Gabriel, if you'd spent more time with your son, you would have known he prefers his pancakes plain. Adrian, if you didn't want bananas, you could have told me. No, no, I, I like them. I was just lost in thought. You see, there's this girl... Adrian, don't force yourself to eat them to please your father. It's not that, it's just... Natalie, leave Adrian to his pancakes and let me know how you want yours instead. Mine? Your pancakes. Why don't you come and sit down so that we can all have breakfast together, right, Adrian? Uh, uh... Yeah, like family. For Adrian, I will eat even your pancakes, sir. Since we're family, you can call me Gabriel. How about Gabe while we're at it? Adrian, Adrian time it's to time to... To... Hmm? to go to school. Right, to go to school. <laughs> my school bag! I forgot to pack my school bag! Do that again. I came to this house to hunt magical artifacts for you and Emily. I became your bodyguard, your right-hand woman, your friend, and even more. But this is all over. You used to do this out of love for Emily, but now you're only doing it out of madness. And the only reason I'm still here is to protect Adrian from you. But everything I do is for Adrian's happiness. The only thing Adrian needs in order to be happy is his father. You'll never bring Emily back, and it's time to accept that. She accepted it herself. No. Stop kidding yourself. You saw the recording she left just as I did. Emily always deserved more than what she wanted. That's why I made you destroy the recordings. I... I couldn't bear them. It's too late anyway. I can't give up now. No! <sighs> okay, here we go again. Actually, I don't know if it's such a good idea to bother Joan with that kind of thing. She has a very hot temper, you know. Don't worry. It's gonna be okay. <sighs> Reunion! The one you're looking for is here. Joan of Arc, known as the Scarlet Fate. Good morrow. What is your name, you clumsy young holder? Um, um, um uh, uh, Marinette? What's the matter with you, girl? Hearing voices or something? They used to direct similar inquiries to me as well. You shall become accustomed to it. There! There! In the armor! Can't you see her? Huh? No. 
Only you and I can see the holders that came before you, Marinette. Hello, John. Nice to see you again. Tiki, you buy a little gargoyle. Still as greedy as you used to be. Hark, what have you gotten yourself into that requireth my assistance? A war that needeth be ceased? A plague of dragons? Um, nothing like that. The thing is, just like you, Marinette has fallen in love with the holder of the Miraculous of the Black Cat. I beg thy pardon? Well, that's what she says. What I think is she's still in love with Adrian, but now that he finally loves her back, she's afraid and is running away from her true feelings by inventing new ones for someone who's even more inaccessible. Then again, I don't know much about romance, as you know. Hmm? Come on, Tiki. I'm not running away from my feelings. You're running like you have an army of supervillains on your tail. I cannot believe my ears. Forsooth, are you bothering me over a mere love story? End this reunion at once, foolish damsel. Wait, Tiki said that you fell in love with Cat Noir too. I need to know more. Nay, I have no time to be wasted on such nonsense. And you would do well to focus on your quest if it be true you wish to be worthy of your miraculous. End of reunion. No, please. End of reunion. Pearl Monarch said Monarch is the good guy. He just wants the miraculous to make a wish. And a lot of people say that his wish is for world peace. Ladybug and Cat Noir are against it, because if there's peace, nobody will need them anymore. Come on, Monarch, find me. Give me the power to find my sister. In exchange, I promise I'll get you Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. A call from the heart of a brother who wants the safe return of his sister, and more importantly, to help me. How can I say no? Kalki, your power is now mine! Voyage, my Megakuma! Emily, Natalie, I'm going to take back the Miraculous of Time, and finally, I will make up for my mistakes. Pharaoh, I am Monarch. Ladybug took advantage of your sister's trust. She pulled the wool over her eyes and propelled her into a time warp. Confront the lying superhero with the truth and force her to bring your beloved sister back! Cat Noir? Chat Noir! Cat Noir? Cat Noir?! <laughs> Crazy. I wanted to see him, and now he's here, and I'm running away from him. This is so ridiculous! <laughs> oh! Hey! <laughs> Good evening, Marinette. Oh, Cat Noir, I'm so mad, uh, so bad. I, I want it so bad, too. I mean, I'm so glad to see you. Well, yeah, I uh, just happened to be in the neighborhood, and uh, there you were. Crazy to see you here. Well, uh, I do uh, <laughs> live here. Ah, uh, oh, right, I completely forgot about that. I mean, not completely, because the truth is, I actually think about you a lot. You think about me a lot? Well, so do I. Really? You think about me? Yeah, all the time. I mean, sometimes, you know, like a fan. Oh, so you're kind uh, of a fan uh, of mine? Not just kind of. I'm... I'm a huge fan, actually. Huge fan? As in, wanting to go on a ride with me under the stars? <laughs> totally. Moonlit rides are awesome. <laughs> like going to get some ice cream. It is hot out tonight. Very hot. Yeah. Uh, but I can't go out for ice cream. I'm in my pajamas. <sighs> Don't worry. It's gonna be okay. Uh, Why am I getting angry? Marinette is my BFF. If she wants to pursue Cat Noir, that's her choice. After all, I thought he was cute too at first. Maybe things will turn out awesome between them. In just a few minutes, it's already caused negative feelings between you two. 
Can you imagine what it could cause between them? Come on, Tiki, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Actually, Alia, the end of the world is exactly the kind of thing that could result from problems between the holders of the miraculous of creation and destruction. <laughs> oh, you're overreacting. Come on, let's go tell her that we love her. Hmm? Marinette? Hold on, you're here, which means she can't have transformed into Ladybug. Then where's Marinette? I don't see him. He's gotta be here somewhere. I know how to find him. My friend Max has developed an app especially for locating him. And voila! Andre the Ice Cream Man is on the Illicine. Oh. Hold on tight, Marinette. <laughs> <laughs> she's not picking up. Do you think she's angry? <laughs> My name is Andre, Andre Garland, the sweetheart We're the ones who are too. I'll find love for you. <laughs> Marinette and Cat Noir, what are you two doing here? We're here for ice cream, of course. Unless you're selling hot dogs now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Cat Noir. But I make sweethearts ice cream, not jokers and good friends ice cream. Look, who do you see there next to Jean and Serge? Ladybug and Cat Noir! Their flavor is one of my classics! Love is not something you joke about. You, Cat Noir, are in love with a ladybug, and you, Marinette, are supposed to be in love with Adrian Agreste. Uh, no. no. 